In order to truly build an inclusive learning environment, schools should employ a wraparound approach to meet the needs of all students. According to Alberta Education, a wraparound approach is a philosophy of care that includes a definable planning process involving the child, student and family that results in comprehensive, coordinated supports and services to achieve improved learning outcomes and improved quality of life. Coordinated services and supports offered through multiple professionals and agencies that are school-based and or school-linked might include health and mental health related services, mentoring, before and after school programs and other supports and services for parents and families. It is unrealistic to assume that schools are able to provide comprehensive support to meet the needs of all students but a wraparound approach can provide services and opportunities for students that otherwise would not be available through the school alone. Knowing what services are available within the community and collaborating with service providers can provide students with a network of professionals that are able to support the whole student. Um, so we have a number of individuals that come in for different needs of students, whether it's physical therapy, speech and language, those are, those are all things that they come in to help support those students. Um, in the class. How beneficial is it to have those supports available at the school? Well, it's it's critical to to provide the 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 things that those students need in order for them to be successful, both here at school, but also in their regular life um, and community life as well. And so they become an, a, just an uh, something that is part of their learning, and the school environment provides us an opportunity to to give give them that um, on a regular, consistent basis. And I, th I think especially for the, the fact that uh, for these students, the, the support is weekly. Uh, sometimes, it, and it takes a variety of, of approaches. Sometimes it, it is right within the classroom. Other times it's on a, on a pull-out basis. Uh, but it's the weekly contact that is, that is the most uh, b beneficial. An important first step for administrators is to build an awareness of the services that are available within your school community. These can include both internal and external supports, such as healthcare professionals and social service agencies. Every school community is different, so it is up to each school to know what services are available and who to contact when a need arises. And we also have our community that are, also supports us in that. Um, these are children that live amongst us um, throughout the community and the community members work with these children um, outside of school time, so those are huge commitments that we build together as a partnership. Knowing what community services and supports are available is an important first step, but once these supports are identified, it is up to the school to ensure all stakeholders work in collaboration with each other to provide support for each student. No individual person or agency is responsible for student success within a wraparound approach. Rather, all service providers and stakeholders must work together to effectively meet the needs of each student. Working as a team will ensure every student's physical, cognitive, social and behavioural well-being is effectively supported. I, I think a lot of the essential supports that are required to make it a successful learning environment, as uh, Lila was mentioning, your speech people, your um, OT people, uh, ESL support is huge also. As our classroom, uh, we have like one third of our class is uh, English second language students. So they come in with another handful of, of lots of knowledge, but we have to figure out a way to get that out of them and keep them um, involved in what we're doing. Uh, so we, we've used a lot of those supports and especially with the LNL program, there's a specialist that will come out to, to observe how it's going and, and they're, they're a really great support for any technology programs maybe we haven't heard of. So we can say, this is, this is what we're having trouble with. We can't figure out how to uh, get this kind of a lesson to be represented in this way for this particular student so they're kind of disengaging in, in the class. So if we can let them know what we're having trouble with, then they're pretty quick at being able to come back and, and let us know what, we, what can help. And they'll come right in the classroom and help us out. Uh, I found that it, it is really essential. Parents also need to be made aware of what services are available for their child and be an active part of the decision making around what services will best meet their child's needs. Our parents are our best advocates and they actually, um, it's something that they believe in and that they want for their school and their community. And we use them to actually help um, educate each other. Um, and then it's conversations on an ongoing basis 
um, especially with parents who are new to our school community who may not have had the same experience. It, it, we show them how we work, why we do what we do, and give them the details that they need to know um, so that they feel that their kids are going to have the, the same success and the same opportunities as everybody else has. We um, are noticing that our parents of our most vulnerable students also feel vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things we have been trying this year is to bring them in as part of our community as well and mm -hmm. saying, if we collectively have a better understanding, then we can collectively do a better job. And we've been using people outside of the school mm -hmm. to talk with these parents, to work with these parents, mm -hmm. and we're looking at expanding that so that there's um, more communication and so we're using outside sources, we're using inside and we're using the parent. Mm -hmm. And at some points, we've also brought the child in. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a very strong interconnected process. Mm -hmm. um, very infant at the moment, but we're getting, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're, we're looking that way. Mm -hmm. Meeting the needs of all students requires a team of individuals working closely together to support learner needs and build on student strengths. Building a network of community supports ensures that all students have their physical, emotional, social, and cognitive needs met.